What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one, we're gonna be looking at the latest lineup from Microsoft this year. I'm actually out here in New York where we just checked out the latest lineup. A massive shout out to Microsoft for flying us out and putting us up for the event as well. Before we carry on, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Guys, let's get on with it. First up is the new Surface Pro 7, which is just a refresh of last year's Surface Pro 6. It's still got the same thick bezels, but now sports a USB-C port, updated processor to a 10th gen Intel Core processor. New studio mics are there as well, optimized to use for voice uh, activities like voice to text and phone calls, which can now be integrated as well to win into Windows. Microsoft also showed off some new pen features. For example, you can now write in Excel and Excel will pick it up into text in a matter of seconds. Next, we have the Surface Laptop 3. The Surface Laptop 3 is really cool. I suspect this one will be for most students, for example, and perhaps those who want to get something portable and powerful that is in the Surface Pro. Microsoft says it now has 1.3 millimeters key travel and a 20% increase in trackpad size from the predecessor. There's instant on, there's always on for logging in within seconds, fast charging via proprietary connector, and it supports fast charge, which Microsoft says will get you back up to 80% in less than an hour, which is pretty impressive. For ports, you have a USB-A, a USB-C USB port, and it's a shame you can't charge the, lap the Surface Laptop 3 via USB-C. The Surface Laptop 3 runs on Ryzen 7 Surface Edition. Vega 11 and Vega 9 options are available as well, depending on the size that you go for. So I think if you go for the 15 inch, you have those two options. And you have a removable storage drive as well, solid state drive, just like the Surface Pro 7. Just like the Surface Pro 7, you also have the new studio microphones up top by the web camera. The display looks very impressive, but no surprises there at all. You get a three by two aspect ratio pixel sense display with 201 PPI on a 2256 by 1504 resolution. For processor, it's running on the 10 nanometer quad core 10th gen Intel Core processor, which Microsoft says is three times faster than the MacBook Air. You'll also get up to 11 and a half hours of battery life typically, and there are new color options available and it's available in 13 inch or 15 inch variants. Oh, and there's also a new machined aluminum finish which, which looks premium and feels premium as well. Next up is the Surface Pro X. Microsoft's next generation two in one, which is also the thinnest surface yet at 7.3 millimeters thin. It has a 13 inch screen in a 12 inch form factor with hardly any bezels compared to what you'd have on the Surface Pro. It has a gorgeous pixel sense display with 1400 to one contrast ratio, 2880 by 1920 resolution and 267 PPI. So it looks really sharp, whether you're watching movies, typing up documents or whatever you're doing on there. Powering the Surface Pro X is Microsoft 7 watt SQ1 chipset with a Snapdragon mobile DNA with integrated AI accelerator. It also has a redesigned GPU as well. With this new chipset, you can expect a lower power consumption, full solid state drive, speed, 4K video output via USB-C. Microsoft says it will deliver three times more performance per watt than the Surface Pro 6, meaning better battery. It's lighter, it's faster and thinner as well. The Pro X is also LTE ready, making it worthy contender for always connected PC if you're looking for one. The Surface Pro X is also running a full-fledged Windows OS. It's the first Windows PC ever to have integrated AI engine as well. With LTE, USB-C, fast charging, two teraflops, graphics performance, instant on, removable storage, nine teraflops of computational power. It's destined to be a powerful, slick, and probably the one I'd go for. Pair it up with the new Surface Pro X signature keyboard with a new slim pen that is nicely tucked away by the bottom of the screen inside the keyboard and charges whilst docked as well. You have a winner here. Next, we have a new pair of Microsoft Surface earbuds. It has directional dual mic array, offers 24 hours of battery life, has touch sensors on each earbud so you can control your music and calls. If connected to an Android smartphone, you can also use it to open Spotify and start playing music straight away. You can use gestures to control your music, which is pretty cool. And it doesn't stop there. It's also compatible with Office, so you can use it for real-time caption, and it can also be used for translation. The Surface earbuds are coming in at the end of this year for around $249. One more thing, well, two more things. Microsoft also introduced two new devices that are coming holiday next year, so 2020. So we have the Surface Neo, which runs Windows 10X, designed for dual display uh, Windows devices. It can do things like span apps across two, app, two screens or work on one side, do something else on the other side. The Surface Neo is compatible with a pull-off Bluetooth keyboard, which is pretty cool as well. And when you connect this keyboard, the device would know when a keyboard is connected. So the interface change dynamically depending on what you're doing. It has two nine inch LCD screens, a pen on the back, which also gets charged while it's attached. Each screen is five millimeters thick 
and weighs just 655 grams. For performance, it will run on Intel Lakefield hybrid processor with 11th gen graphics. He also seems durable with Gorilla Glass and a 360 degree inch. If you want something smaller than this, then there's the Surface Duo with two 5.6 inch displays. And Microsoft says it's not a phone. But when we get a closer look, we'll see about that. In terms of first impressions, my first impressions, I think the Surface Pro 7 is just an incremental update under the hood, which is great as if it's not broke, why fix it? The only thing that will change is perhaps a thinner bezel. The Surface Laptop 3 is beautiful. It's a beautiful machine and with a lot of power to get your work done. And the new Pro X is my favorite. It's powerful, sleek, has a new keyboard and pen, and is always connected via LTE. The new Neo and the Duo are also very exciting, and I can't wait to get my hands on those, but I can't really say much right now. But my overall impression of the new Surface lineup would be that they're all designed for productivity, so even the future ones like the Neo and the Duo, having two, having a dual display means you can get more work done, and you can be a lot more productive. So that's it from Microsoft this year, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any questions you want to ask, is there one that you particularly are interested in? Let us know as well, and uh, join the conversation on Twitter at Gadgetspoy. But thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.